Hey, what's up, guys? It's late night here in New York. I'm getting ready for my move to Austin, Texas in a couple days, but I figured before I go, I better make a video. A lot of people that get into coding do it for the sole reason of increasing their income. And a lot of people that come to my channel in particular are studying for their technical interviews, but some people actually struggle to pass these. So I figured it would be a good idea to talk about how you guys can make income coding without necessarily having a software engineering position. All these things are things I've had personal experience with myself and are ways you can make some extra money and maybe even a full-time income source. But before I go over all that, I just want to mention the sponsor of this video, Masterworks. We like to think about things as simply as possible. People can dedicate their lives to coming up with problems that they think exist. And they can build whole businesses around them just to find out that there actually isn't a problem at all. They engineer solutions to their problem, but their problem is actually just specific to them. They aren't grounded in reality. Some of the biggest problems in this world are obvious, looking us directly in the eyes, punching us right in the face. For example, the internet and social media, which allows us to interact with one another without actually being face to face in person. So when I heard about Masterworks and how they're solidifying themselves as the premier art investment platform, it all clicked. They let you access exclusive investments from names like Banksy, Monet, and other iconic artists at just a fraction of what billionaires pay because roughly two thirds of all billionaires allocate anywhere from 10 to 30% of their overall portfolio to art. This is in part to diversify because it's a natural inflation hedge. It makes sense. After all, contemporary art prices outpaced the S&P 500 total return by 164% from 1995 to 2021 and have exhibited the lowest correlation to equities of nearly any major asset class. Since 2020, Masterworks has sold three paintings with each returning over 30% net IRR to investors and their new offerings usually sell out in hours. So if you wanna get in on it early, all you have to do is go to masterworks.io, create an account, check out what they have, and invest in their offerings. And my subscribers specifically get to skip that wait list just by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thank you, Masterworks, for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to the video. All right, great. Now let's get into the ways that you guys can make money through coding without necessarily having to get a typical software engineering job. The first way is freelancing. Freelance programming is the practice of working on software for or with companies without actually being employed by those companies. There's a ton of perks of freelance programming. For example, you can make your own hours, set your own rates, pick your own projects. But there's also some downsides where you typically have to be kind of business savvy and good at communication as well as you have to maintain a good reputation with clients. Another downside is the process of finding these projects to work on and companies to work with might be a little bit more difficult than you'd think. If you struggle with this, I'd recommend making a portfolio where you keep track of your successful projects and to try and find projects on freelancing websites like Upwork and People Per Hour, for example. You'll be competing with a lot of other people to land these projects, so you're gonna have to differentiate yourself from the competition. I found the best way to do this is to explain that you have excellent communication skills and give your clients a constant line of communication like a phone number or an email address where they can contact you at any time because a lot of your competition won't be willing to do that overall if you do good work and maintain a good reputation the word will spread and over time you can increase your rates some people even end up making businesses out of this the next way you can make money through coding is through teaching Education is extremely important in this field, and a lot of people struggle with understanding concepts only because they don't have the right resource or teacher. So if you're looking to make some extra money, there's tons of online platforms these days where you can sign up to tutor coding. Every year, more and more kids in middle school and high school are learning to code, and people that are trying to get into computer science in college might be looking for tutors in your local area. If you're in school, I'm sure they have tutoring too, so you can apply there. I personally was a computer science tutor in college for two years, and I found it was a great way to make some extra money. And once again, if you do really good work and you have a good reputation for education, you could actually get hired by private agencies. I actually know some private tutors that make over six figures. And the easiest way to get into teaching is probably social media where you make a private Discord or Slack group and you have your students in there that you communicate with. Either way, a ton of people struggle with learning and online education is becoming very, very important. So if you wanna make some extra money, maybe try tutoring, or teaching a little bit. Speaking of social media, you can become a coding content creator. It is no secret at this point that social media is no longer a waste of time or a pipe dream. It is a real career opportunity and a skill that can be developed over time. With consistency and constant improvement in quality, content creation can actually become a good source of income while you learn to code or do other things. You can meet a ton of people and grow your network through content creation, and plus, it could even become your full-time career. Next, to be honest, is probably the most difficult one, but could be very rewarding. Simple internet companies in the past have grown to generate millions and millions of dollars over time. 
And while there's a lot of competition on the market these days, it's a little bit more difficult to come up with these ideas that are gonna generate millions and millions of dollars because all the ideas have been taken for internet companies. While those multi-million dollar ideas are harder to think of these days, there are some more niche ways you can make passive income with software. All the time I see a ton of medium effort software as a service companies popping up all over the place. You think of a service that people might need that you can provide through software, like data about something, for example, and they pay a fee to access it. And while these software ideas might not be generating millions of dollars overnight, they can be effective at generating a few hundred to a few thousand dollars a month. So if you could think of a service that you can provide through software that's not out there right now, then maybe try it out. And then finally, developer positions. So I, I figure I should mention developer positions just because I think all of us kind of talk about the jobs that offer super high pay or super high effort, but we do forget about the smaller mid-sized companies. Now we all know about the developer positions that pay extremely high salaries for high effort work, but sometimes we forget about things like local consulting firms, which are just looking for decent programmers to help out once in a while. Throughout college, I worked at a couple of companies like this part time and was able to make like $30 an hour for 20 hours a week. And these things were pretty relaxed environments where I was just able to earn some extra income. Most people are shooting for the stars in tech, but if you just look around, you could actually find some good companies that are just looking for a helping hand. And this can lead to future opportunities or at least improve your resume while you're looking for the next position. So those are all the best ways I think we can make money from coding right now in a realistic fashion. So if I forget anything, which I might have, please drop a comment below so I can check that out. Thank you guys for watching and supporting once again. Hopefully we can get some good content when I fly out to Austin in a couple days. I'm going to be there all summer. So hopefully we can get some really good content. And uh, yeah, I just appreciate the continuous support. Please like the video really helps. And uh, thanks again, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.